I'm super excited to be able to offer my coloring pages as Procreate digital downloads. When you get an email from me, tap on that digital download when you're on your iPad. You're going to download it by using that little download button at the top, and then it's gonna automatically open up. Once it does, scroll down to the bottom of your screen and you'll see an open menu. From there, you're going to be given the option to choose Procreate. Find that button, tap on it, and voila! You have a Have Color Will Travel freebie inside your Procreate app. Isn't that cool? Now your instinct's gonna be to begin coloring this straight away because it looks ready to go. But there are a couple of steps that you need to do first so that you'll have the most satisfying coloring experience possible. You'll see, and I'm gonna show you why you need to follow these steps, that the coloring page is a layer. So let's find ourselves a gorgeous color. Ah, let's do pink. This is my February Valentine's Day freebie, so that seems appropriate. I'm going to use a 6B brush, that's a 6B pencil, because I want this to be kind of like I'm coloring with uh, IRL in real life colored pencils. Now let's watch what happens when I color on this first layer. <gasps> oh no! Well, I'm kind of acting here, but yeah, <laughs> oh no! I colored over the lines and not in a good way. It made the lines disappear. And that's not what we want when we color on a coloring page. So you're gonna first make a new layer when you upload that coloring page into Procreate. Then you're going to hold and drag and down that layer beneath your coloring page. Then go up to that coloring page layer and switch the blend mode to multiply. Why multiply? Y'all, I still don't know. I am learning about Procreate all of the time but I do know you change that coloring page layer to blend, to blend mode, the coloring page layers blend mode, there's my tongue, to multiply, and then you begin coloring on the new layer that you made, that you dragged underneath the coloring page. Because you'll see, once you've done that, look, the lines are still there. Those are my drawing lines that you still wanna have showing up when you color, because that's what coloring's all about, being able to see this image that you add your creativity to. It's a collaborative art experience. So let's do a little bit of coloring here. So we've got this nice section. I'm gonna increase my pencil size so that it doesn't take forever for me to fill uh, in this shape. I'm gonna work on these four petals and speed it up just a little bit. So I'm using some pretty firm pressure as I use this 6B pencil brush, but you'll notice you can also, you know, <clears throat> if you get it in the right angle, you can also use gradated hand pressure in Procreate, which is something I'm discovering. And that's super cool. So you can experience the differences in textures the way that you would if you're coloring with real pencils. But I wanna fill this in nice and bright and pink because I do think that it's easier for you to see when I'm doing, uh, basically using all of my screens to create this tutorial because I'm using a phone screen to capture video on my uh, iPad screen. So many screens. All right, so we've got this flower and now there's these veins inside. I don't wanna use the same color there, even though I colored over it nice and, and really bold. So every time you use a new color or you're gonna color a new section of your coloring page, I highly recommend creating a new layer. And you're gonna see why in just a second. I'm gonna choose a nice, uh, well, kind of a, a, a bright, well, bright blue is the wrong word, a pale blue that's going to look bright on the pink. So I've got my still, my 6B pencil, and I'm just gonna color in these veins. Really easy, like <clears throat> making a nice um, disparate color so that you'll be able to see this pop. And the nice thing about, oh, oh wait, there you go. My fingers do that all the time. They leave stray marks as I'm shrinking and enlarging my screen so I can see easier. The nice thing about choosing different layers for each color is that if you make a mistake, you know which layer you can need to erase it on. And that's what I just did. So I'm going to make sure that I go back to that blue layer and I'm gonna finish in the veins of that flower right there. A beautiful thing about Procreate is that you can enlarge 
the screen and therefore enlarge your coloring page. For those of us that have eye issues, that is a real treat. So now, I what if I thought that that blue really wasn't my favorite idea? All I have to do is to go over here and turn that layer off and I can take it out. I no longer have to have it there. Or I can swipe over to the left and delete that completely. To make another color choice right in that section, again, create a new layer. And I would really honestly like to be doing this whole um, colorable card in pinks. On social media, I asked y'all a couple days ago, or maybe it was last week, what color palettes I should use for this card. And I got some wonderful um, uh, suggestions. And one of them was to create this as an entirely pink card, which is what I intend to do with this digital version of the card. So here's a nice soft pink. And on that new layer, I am going to uh, fill in those veins, nice and soft. And every time you make a little bit of a stray mark, all you have to do is double tap or use that um, back button there that's in the left hand side lower corner of your iPad screen. And you can take away those stray marks pretty easily. Of course, I'm always saying there, uh, my lines aren't the boss of you and coloring outside of the lines is awesome. So try not to let Procreate uh, build on your perfectionistic tendencies because there's a whole array of really cool things that you can learn from your mistakes or quote unquote mistakes in Procreate. Now, I'm going to create another layer because I'd like to start a new section. I'm thinking that we should probably stay in this pink, although I'm gonna finish this card off screen because I do think even though I'm digitally coloring, it's gonna take me quite a while. But I'd like you to see what it's like when you go to a wholly new section. I'm gonna go and focus on that section of love. And I made that new layer before I'd made my color choice. So you wanna always go back and check what layer you're on because it's super easy to forget because you're always tapping the screen for information, which can cause you to accidentally start working on the layer that you didn't intend to work on. And I'm going back and forth between two different pencil colors. Oh, there's another stray mark. I'm just gonna double tap, take that away. There you go. I hope you've enjoyed this brief tutorial about how to enjoy my Half Color Will Travel free pages in Procreate. To learn more about what I do, go to halfcolorwilltravel.com. Thanks, y'all.